We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Donna Bate Murphy, who is Vice President for Regulatory Affairs for Iridium Communications. Donna, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. I'd like to start off by asking you briefly about what Iridium is and what it does. Uh, Iridium Communications is a global voice and data communications company. We provide satellite connectivity to 100% of the world. That means that these ICT uh, discussions are very important to us here at the Wicket. We uh, and systems like ours provide connectivity where no one else can and during times where disaster strikes that's especially critical. And what specific concerns are you hoping will be addressed here at Wicked? Well, Iridium built its global telephone company based on the original ITRs and we hope that the Wicket continues to foster the same sort of innovation, uh, transparency, and uh, competitiveness that it first created when they were conceived. So is this your first ITU event? Uh, no, I, I've attended more events than I'd care to confess to, but uh, both as a government and a private sector member uh, with telecom and terrestrial, but they all have a similar cadence. And how have you found this conference compared to the others that you've attended? This conference is different. The issues are different, the people attending are different, and we have stakeholders here who don't normally attend ITU meetings. But in the end, I find that in discussing with the, the issues with the delegates, they still have the desire to reach a positive outcome. I think that what's important here is that all the uh, delegations have a chance to um, speak their minds, say what's important to them. And with 193 countries, unfortunately, it take, can take a little bit of time. And from your experience, how do these negotiations usually end up? Hopefully, with everyone collectively a little better off. Uh, we see the first inputs coming in that are different, both from a country perspective and a regional perspective. Then you see more differences added in at the conference. Then slowly you see the similarities, the fissures start between the original inputs, and then you start to see uh, reconciliation. And is that how it's going here, do you think? So far, yes. The chairman does need time, though, to reach a reconciliation. And countries still need time to state the positions that their administrations entrusted them to bring here. But I feel with the spirit of the room here in Dubai that we'll reach a positive resolution. Donna Bethany Murphy, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me.